What's going on YouTube Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing to do with you guys. If you are new to my channel, um, I like to upload daily knife content. So if you like knife reviews, knife overviews, discussion videos, unboxings, um, or if you're interested in taking a look at my Knife Guy series on Sundays, this channel might be for you. So go ahead and hit subscribe and make sure your notifications are turned to all. Uh, this, uh, this box was sent to me by my good buddy, uh, Shaker MT or Harry Gage. Um, if you are a regular in my comments section, then, um, you, that name will probably sound familiar. Um, Harry is a very generous patron. He's one of only two mythic knights, um, on my Patreon. So that is obviously super helpful. Um, this box contains, um, a bunch of knives that he has donated to the channel. Now, if I remember correctly, Harry, there's at least one knife in here that's not a donation. It'll probably be obvious when we get into it. Um, it's just something for me to take a look at. Um, but uh, really, really cool. Um, I, I'm, I'm excited, of course, to take a look at the knives um, and to give my honest thoughts on them in the form of reviews. Um, but uh, generally, when people make donations to the channel, I find a way to reciprocate back to my viewers. Um, that way everything goes full circle and everybody has a good time. So let's go ahead and get into this box here. I am just just shaking with excitement. Can't wait. Um, I am somewhat familiar with at least one or two of these knives, but I am very unfamiliar with a lot of them. And that's always fun because it means it's the first time that I'm experiencing things. Okay, let's take that out of there. We have a mysterious white box here, a mysterious black box, a mysterious gray box, it says lion steel on it, and a mysterious bubble wrapped package. <laughs> okay, um, let's start with the lion steel. Um, okay, so this is, yeah, is it the ROK? This is the ROK. Um, really, what the heck is going on there with the pocket clip? How does that work? Okay, let's go ahead and fire it out. Ooh, like that blade shape. Really cool. Steel lock bar insert, beautiful machine work. Line Steel always has really cool machine work. Oh, this is an integral? Or integral? My wife always gets on me for that. She goes, stop saying integral, it's integral. <laughs> Uh, integral, nice detent, nice flipping action. So wait a second. So is this an aluminum integral because it's red? I would imagine it is. I do not understand this pocket clip. How does that work? Do you push, is there a secret? Is there like this bookcase? You gotta pull the book and a secret door. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I saw it lift. How does that work? Oh, oh, I see. You push, that is an interesting mechanism there. Okay, so. You push here when you're ready to put it in your pocket and this thing lifts kind of like that thing from the Avengers movie that comes out of the water. Oh, that's cool. Interesting knife. Very, very interesting knife. Awesome. Now, I, once he, I'm going to have to check and see which knives he intended um, to donate to the channel. I don't want to make any promises here with this one. That's a really, really nice knife. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, I want to do, do this box. This says native body wash. <laughs> Either Harry is insinuating something that he is assuming, or this box contains knives and it's just uh, something else is in here. Okay, wait a second. Now this feels like more than one knife. Let me move these out of the way. We do not, we do not have a plan on this channel. I don't have a plan or a script or anything on this channel. It looks like there's two in here. Ooh, wow, okay. So this is a lockback. It's got carbon fiber and it has, ooh, okay, let me try that again. Lockbacks have a different type of detent setup. I'm gonna give this some wrist. Yeah, cool, what is this? Nimrod design. Let me take a look at the front here. Masserine stainless steel M390. Ooh, very cool, very cool, interesting. Um, this is not a brand or knife that I'm familiar with at all. That's always intriguing to me. This, this knife is much lighter weight than it actually appears. Let's take a look at that pocket clip. It's one of those that comes all the way up back and around. Good retention there. Sticks up a little bit there. We'll have to talk about that. Um, looks like the lockback extends all the way through. What do we have on the inside here? These are solid carbon fiber scales. Very cool knife. Very smooth for a lockback. Kind of reminds me of the feeling that I get with the um, Code 4. Really, really smooth. 
awesome knife. Let's go ahead, you know what? Let's open up the line steel here so that we can put it side by side with this guy. And there's another knife in the bubble wrap, real steel. So, oh man, nice flipping action. This uh, this is a very solid feeling knife. Um, I kind of like, so this, this is actually pretty heavy, but I kind of like that. You guys know that I kind of have a bias for like heavy, chunky knives and it, I kind of get that feeling. Um, something I like about real steel that I think is kind of unique is number one, they're using big chunky hardware, but the same hardware they're using for the pivot is being used back here to hold the backspacer in. Um, this appears to be a tumbled titanium frame lock. Now I've held some uh, knives from real steel that are not quite as expensive. This feels to be a little bit more premium. What do we have here? We actually have D2. So wait a sec. So is this D2 and a titanium frame lock? Or am I mistaken and that's steel? I don't know. We're going to, I mean, obviously we're going to have to do some research on that. But um, right off the bat, great ergonomics. Um, everything's nicely finished off. It feels, it honestly feels very premium. Um, the blade looks nice. I like the tumble finish on it. Um, I really like this little notch back here for your thumb. That's cool. We kind of have, we have a little bit of a tanto kind of thing going on, but it's not quite a tanto. It's got a little bit of belly there. Interesting. Nice G10 backspacer there. Gear pattern. You guys know I like that. Um, uh, pretty cool. Wait a sec. So this is a, if this is a titanium frame lock, it's a raw titanium frame lock, meaning no lock bar insert or over travel stop, though it appears that the pocket clip acts as a little bit of a over travel prevention or minor over travel prevention. Very cool knife, very interesting. Um, what do we have in this one? More bubble wrap. Okay, so um, this is a knife that I have reviewed in its ultra premium form, but it looks like this is actually the G10 variant. So this is the Arkeo Large in G10 and D2. Um, I actually did, you know, like the large Arkeo. I think it was the smaller one that I had a problem with. So um, that's pretty cool. Um, if I remember correctly, you can't quite use that little deal here to do a reverse flick because the D10 is so heavy, but it's definitely a good flipper. In fact, this works really well as a G10 and, and D2 flipper. How are we locking up here? Let's take a look. Pretty good. Countersunk steel liner. Nice centering there. Nice little pocket clip. Cool. I'm glad I've got an opportunity to uh, review the um, G10 or the uh, budget version of the large Arcale. Now, the last one here, I know what this one is. And I also know 100% that this one is not meant for me to keep. <laughs> <laughs> this one I'm super excited about. Oh man, I love that red box. Okay, uh, Harry, you know how I'm like shaking. I'm so excited. Harry knows how excited I am because I've been seeing pictures of it. Oh boy. Oh, the front of this is the front of this is where it's at. Oh, uh, that is so beautiful. Wow, that's awesome. This is actually textured. I didn't know that. I did not know that this was textured, Harry. That is so cool. Let's get a nice close-up of that. Oh, man. So this is a special variant of this knife. I know. Let's, let's go and fire it out. Golly, that action is just phenomenal. Oh, my gosh. Thumb stud deployer with a glassy. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's fall shut. This is not even broken in clearly, and it's just amazing. Nice choil M390. Oh man, look at that blade grind. Uh, looks like a hand rub satin finish there on the blade. Absolutely beautiful. So this is about the same size and dimensions, if I'm remembering correctly. The last time I held a um, Chavez of, of these dimensions was my 228 Midtech. And I believe this 229 is actually in the same or nearly the same dimensions. Maybe not quite the same thickness of blade, but I got to say in these dimensions, it actually feels more proper. But my God. God, is that front scale beautiful. That is so cool. Oh, boy. So this one obviously will get a review. Um, one of the, the nice things about the different, you know, the, the upgrades here, not only is this an M390 and the one that I had was an S35VN, but this now has the steel lock bar insert, which doubles as the over travel stop. And I'll say this, the action is substantially, like mine was okay, but the action on this guy is substantially better. 
um, like noticeably better. Love that pocket clip. That pocket clip is polarizing. You know, some people like it, some people hate it. Um, I really, really like it. Um, there's no lock stick on this, and obviously the blade you, you saw there was centered. We'll go ahead and give you another view of that. Blade's nice and centered. Um, these uh, these knives are known for being incredibly solid. No blade play up, down, left, or right. Nice lock up percentage. He's got some new thumb studs on there. A little bit more traction for engagement. That's nice. Um, this is all nicely rounded off. Very beautiful. This is just stunning, Harry. Um, I'm so pumped that you um, allowed me or are allowing me to take a look at that. I am very, very excited to give my thoughts on this. Um, obviously, I'm going to take a little bit of time to play with it. But um, if I remember correctly, the rest of these, I think, and Harry can correct me, I believe Harry means for the rest of these to be donations for the channel. So after I review them, we'll be doing something fun. Don't want to ruin it. Um, but uh, I'm really, really excited about this. Thank you so much, Harry. Hey, and if you see him down in the comments section, you know, give him a give him a thumbs up, you know, um, and and a thank you because he's just like Harry's one of those guys that's just generous because that's who he is. Um, Harry has never asked me for anything in return. He's just like, hey, you know, just wanted to do this. I like your channel, and uh, I'm not the only channel that he supports. He's just that type of person. Um, so Harry is not like exclusive to me or anything. He's just a really, really good guy. And I think people like that need to be celebrated and, and, you know, at least just kind of a comment section high five. That's really, really cool. So thank you again, Harry. Um, really, really awesome unboxing. This was a lot of fun. Um, in any case, that's going to be about it for today's unboxing, guys. If you enjoyed this video or at least found it entertaining, please leave a like. If you'd like to take a look at my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, then please subscribe to my channel because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.